Hello and welcome to this Wireshark tutorial series. Before we start digging deep down into all that technical stuff, I would first like to give you a bit of an intro, so that you may have a better understanding of what the course is about and what you can expect to learn from it. Let me just begin by saying that this course is meant to teach you how to effectively use Wireshark to capture and analyze network traffic. A key thing to note here is that the course layout is such that it really does not matter whether you are a beginner or an advanced user. Either way, you will be able to benefit from it to a great extent. And now, let's just deal with some questions. I mean, what is Wireshark? And what, it, what, it, was it, what, it, what do you use it for? Why should you learn how to use it? Well. Wireshark is an open source program that is used to capture and analyze network traffic. It is a must-have for pretty much every network admin out there. It is a number one piece of software for its purpose. Number one. In the real world out there, on larger scales, it has countless applications, ranging all the way from tracing down unauthorized traffic to confirming firewall settings and so on. I will talk more of this as we continue to progress through the series, but for the time being I just wanted to give you a glimpse of it. If you go on the net and take a look at job postings for network administrators, more often than not, at any of the bigger companies, advanced knowledge of Wireshark will be uh, stated as a requirement or it will be listed as a big plus. So either way, you, either way it's beneficial. So if you're preparing yourself to work as a network administrator, this course will undoubtedly be of great use to you. But regardless, even if you are a casual user, it will help you to better understand how your computer, and not only your computer, but all of your devices, your smartphone, uh, I don't know, laptop, desktop computer, router, switch, etc., how all of these devices communicate in local area networks or with the rest of the world. Okay, so before I wrap this up, I would like to make a personal note. Uh, as you can see here on my screen, I have Wireshark installed and configured. It is up and running. There is currently a live capture session in progress. This is approximately how our tutorials will look like. This, is ma this will be our working space. This is where we will conduct pretty much all of our activities. However, if this is your first time that you have encountered something of a kind, it might seem a little bit intimidating, especially if you don't have any networking ex previous networking experience. Uh, believe me when I say, it is not. If you stick with me, by the end of this course, you will be able to understand everything that is written on this screen and much, much, much more. What I would advise you to be, I would, I would, I would advise you to be curious as it does stimulate you to mess around with stuff, although if you do decide to conduct some sort of experiments or something of a kind, I would strongly recommend that you set up some sort of virtual machines, as it does make things a lot easier. And remember, in general, if you wish to learn something, you must be willing to devote a certain amount of time and labor, and in our line of work, more often than not, you will require nerves of steel. In the beginning, things will seem a bit difficult, uh, you will try to solve problems, they won't make sense, it will be frustrating, but stick with it, uh, get through the first steps, and things, will be, and things will become a lot smoother as we continue our, progr as we continue our progression through, the, through, this, uh, through this course. Now that we got all of that stuff out of our way, we can now begin with our first lesson in the next video. I sincerely hope that you will join me there.